what's up guys today i come to you with yet another chapter of kuroko no basuke extra game this chapter is chapter six and we start off with a mini flashback with akashi talking to his teammates about the upcoming game so while he's talking to his teammates he's telling them the taiko teammates he's telling them um I think Kagami was in there. He was telling them, like, you know, how we're going to be playing this game against Jabberwock. There may be an instance where he will come out, and we all know who he is. And that will be Bokashi Akashi. And if you do not remember, or if you do not know who exactly is, he is the other half of Akashi. The Akashi that we've seen um, prior to this chapter was Orishi, the original Akashi, but the reason why he has Bokushi, it was developed during his Taiko days, and the reason for that is because Akish, Akashi comes from a well-prestigious family, okay? They're, they're very rich and very profound in their business, and everyone knows them. So that means he has high expectations as he is the heirloom of the Akashi family. And remember that in the manga, part one, he was, remember, he was on Takeo's basketball, and then he later became the captain after um, Nijimura left. And he, not only that, but in his past, he lost his mother due to, I believe, sickness, okay? And him being an only child in the harem, he was pressured to be always perfect, the perfect child, always receiving the perfect grades and being perfect in everything he has to do, okay? So that amount of pressure put on a child will start to, you know, weigh down on them sometime later down the road. And then what happened with Taiko and him, especially what really triggered that other side, what really triggered all of that combining to make um Bokushi Akashi was when he made had that, you know, that one-on-one -on -one match with Murasaki Bara. And be that um Bokushi Akashi was created in order to you know, keep everything together and keep them underneath control. But what happened was that this side of Akashi became a dictator and cruel in his mannerisms. And by the end of the Winter Cup, you saw his other side come out, the true Akashi. And Bokushi was still there. He never disappeared. But what I liked about this chapter was that he has grown. He's no longer that same same person he was how much years ago the same dictator the person who did not care only seeking to succeed and make everyone lower their heads everyone else was below him but now he's on equal standing with everyone and everyone has accepted him so we see him you know playing right now he's in he's in place of um orishi and he's playing with emperor's eye and so far everything is looking smooth for vocal source against jabberwock the combinations, the moves, he's leading the team very smoothly, yet still on a thin line. And Nash is like, you know, this guy, he has the same eye as him. And I'm like, how does, how do Nash have the same eye as him? You know, but he's saying that now that they're pushing it, he has no other choice but to reveal his trump card, which he did reveal by the end of the chapter. So we also see the move that was used by Shutoku versus the Shutoku and Rakuzan game where, remember, um, Midorima and Taco did that move where Midorima will be already in a three-pointer, um, um, how do you say, posture, and Taco would pass the ball to him and he would just instantly sh shoot threes all days into the hoop. And Akashi and Midorima, they did that same move, but even better than when Takaho and... Midorima did it and Takaho felt some type of way and I can understand where he's coming from because it was originally he his and Midorima's move but now that Akashi and Midorima are doing it he feels a sense of you know a uh, misplacement like but at the same time he feels proud that they're using this move in order to counteract Jabberwock's movements and their game style so he's feeling in between but you can see why, but at the same time, this is what's needed in order to gain the points, in order to win the game. By the end of the chapter, you know, Nash says, we finally had enough. I made way too many miscalculations, especially about you, Akashi. And now, by the end of the chapter, he is saying he's finally revealing his trump card, which they say he has a similar eye to Akashi. So, I want to know how how similar 
it's this eye of Nash Gold Jr. to Akashis. Is it stronger? Is it on the same level? Does it have the same mechanism or anything? I want to see it for myself. And we're gonna have to wait for chapter seven. Hopefully, I can find this somewhere for you that for me to review to show you guys. So tell me your thoughts on this chapter, chapter six. Um, what do you think about this chapter? What was your most favorite part of this chapter? Do you feel, do you understand, like, the chemistry and do you in, love the growth of Bokushi Akashi, the growth that he had since Takeo to now? Check me out on Twitter and Tumblr. Also, check out my Facebook or Facebook page, my group's Facebook page in the description box below. Also, um, if you'd like to become a member on this page, a subscriber, it will really help us out. So, subscribe to this page, please, this channel, please. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast, and I will see you guys later.